what I like about Stasia, it's very quiet. It's a very small island located in the northeastern Caribbean, very close to St. Martin, which everybody knows. Um, it's so relaxing, there's a lot of nature. We have two national parks, one on land, one on the sea. The Quill is a very nice place to go hiking, very quiet. We have some very unique animals on the island, like the iguana. It's only found on two or three islands on the entire planet. And it's just a nice island to come and discover. The goal of Stenapa, actually known as the St. Eustatius National Parks Foundation, is to protect what we have here on Stasia. For nature, we have very special wildlife here. We have pristine reefs, a beautiful volcano that has a tropical rainforest in it. So our goal is to make sure that it stays that way so that everybody can enjoy it, future generations to come as well. The marine park of St. Eustatia surrounds the entire island from the high water line, so the beaches are included, and it goes to 30 meters depth. Within the marine park, we have two reserves. In those reserves, you're not allowed to anchor, you're not allowed to fish, so what is there has to stay just the way it is. What you can do is dive. You can dive without supervision because maybe you touch something. So in those areas, there's absolutely no take, no touch. In order to maintain the moorings that we have and do the work in the park, Persons that use the park have to pay a fee, and part of that fee it goes to Stanapa. In order to prove that you've paid your fee, we have a dive tag that they get. It's a nice souvenir as well as a way for the rangers to know that you paid your fee. Within the marine park, we have two very special wrecks. One is the Chien Tong. It was an old Vietnamese boat. It was sunk in 2004 and it's very overgrown right now with coral. And also it's very unique because a lot of sea turtles sleep there at night. Right now we're doing a study to find out how many. And in the Southern Reserve, we have the Charles Brown. That was an old cable laying ship and it was purchased for a nominal fee and also sunk roughly at the same time, 2004. And that draws a lot of divers to the island. It's a very huge 100 boat. What I would like and the Marine Park would like is to welcome all divers to Stasia because it's very unique diving. It's beautiful, beautiful reef that we have. But I really would like them to respect the rules, don't touch, because remember, not only you have to enjoy it, but many, many more divers that come after you. And the fishermen need the reefs to be in good condition so they can make a living as well. So we want all the stakeholders to be able to work together in a good, good atmosphere. What I like about Stasia is that the island is really a time capsule in the Caribbean. Ever since it became Dutch in the early 19th century, very little development has taken place, which means that all the remains are still relatively intact and you can find them all over the island. What's really fascinating about the history of Stasia is that in 1756 the Dutch made it into a free port and it quickly became one of the most important uh, transit harbors in the Americas. You can still find hundreds of cannons all over the island that protected the merchandise and the people that were carrying out the commercial activities. The ruins on the island um, are in a very different state of preservation. Um, you have the historic town center, which is beautifully renovated. Some buildings like the synagogue and the Dutch Reformed Church and Fort Oranje uh, have been very nicely restored. But some other ruins, like the ones in Lower Town and in the countryside, such as the old sugar plantations and the military installations, are left to the elements. During the island's economic peak, in the 1770s and 1780s, over three and a half thousand ships visited the island each year. Underwater, you can still find many anchors that have been there for centuries. There are an estimated 200 shipwrecks around the island. Of course, this is not surprising because after each hurricane or strong storm, several ships will go down with the waves and send to Davy Jones' locker. What I like about Stasia is that it's still an unspoiled island. Uh, you don't find a lot of tourism yet. 
that makes it really special now these days. Uh, the nice thing also about Stasia is the marine life. Uh, we have a really nice marine reserve, really protected. So uh, the corals and the fish and all the other stuff that you find in the sea is really untouched and that makes it really special. I like the most about the diving that um, there is a lot of different things. So for example, we have wrecks, uh, different wrecks. Uh, we have a really big one about 100 meters long, the Charlie Brown. And then we also have the Chantong, for example. The turtles are over there all the time and a lot of color. And then next to that, we also have, of course, normal reefs. The, the reefs uh, are also different from each other. So if every dive spot is different and we have about 30 dive spots. Um, it's because of the lava fingers we have, because of the volcano on the island many, many, many years ago. <laughs> And uh, next to that we also have some cliffs or uh, canyons. You can swim through those things and if you look up you really feel like, yeah, you really feel amazing after this. Well, as soon as you go to the Charles Brown and then you see this massive ship laying there, if you swim over it you really feel like you're flying over, over Big Wreck and that's really an amazing feeling because above the water, of course, she cannot fly. So, uh, and the Charles Brown is still pretty intact. It's uh, it's now for ten years. It's down. Yeah, you can swim through it, and um, a lot of marine life is around, especially the horse-eyed jacks. Yeah, the wreck uh, is starting to get uh, grown of coral now. Um, it's already halfway there, and it's. Yeah, that makes it even better, but it's also nice that you can really see like the old shape of the ship, so also a little bit of, uh, of the normal wreck. And um, yeah, the nice thing is it's just, it's so massive, big, it's really cool. The stingrays that we have here are not scared at all. Uh, you can come really close, yeah, it's like they're modeling for you, it's really, really nice. They just sometimes they swim away but then they just swim rounds around you or they like to show off a little bit well we have a lot of small life as well in stasia uh, we have for example uh, a lot of blennies uh, they're really nice uh, because yeah, it's hard to find them so it's even nicer if you can spot them all the small things, it's a lot over here. Uh, they're more different to spot, so all the time, still when I'm diving all the time, I'm here for a while now, but all the time I find some new things and it makes you feel like, yay, I find something new. <laughs> so that's really nice because it uh, makes you want to dive more and more and more and more. For people that would really like to come over to Stasia uh, to see something different, you should, because what you see here, it's amazing. I've been on a lot of different dive sites as well. And after the diving, you can see that amazing sunset on the dive center. And I think you would love it here.